All right, people, some of the more bizarre places my mind goes looking for the answers, and, well, I just start stringing stuff together and come up with stuff like this. I've been telling people these planets really affect us. I use the moon and its effect on women's menstrual cycles and crime on the planet um, as one example. And If you've done any diving into that, you'll have a sense. If you've heard of that, you'll have a sense. Well, when you start studying the spiritual stuff, for a lot of people, you'll go through some of the more Vedically oriented material, which introduces you to an awful lot of stuff. But in particular, and just follow me, this is, these are just passing points. <coughs> Excuse me, this is not a, a conversation about, for instance, I'm about to say chakras. In the Vedic uh, belief systems, they believe that there's these chakras. Well, then you, look, then you start looking at, well, then there's all these correlations to the body with the chakra and the planets. Now follow me through this. But I said before, well, the planets affect us energetically. Well, the chakras are energetic centers within the human. There are, what are there, seven of them here? And then we have these seven planets that circle the planet. I'm telling you people, there's something, there's something to this. The energy centers within us, a.k.a. the chakra body. And if you know anything about the energy body of the human being, oh, it's a very real thing. And depending on how much trauma you've experienced in life and in what aspect of life, um, your chakra body, your energy body can get all fucked up really bad and way out of whack. And, your and it can cause sickness and illness in the body and all kinds of other stuff. So anyway, so on top of that, we've got this system of planets that all have energies that correlate and tie into these energetic centers in us. I think it lends itself to how and why crime spikes when the moon is full. Interesting. And then we are energy beings. Again, diodes on the head, diodes on the heart, EEG, EKG. It's measurable. And then you put this, um, the silly little beast animal under an emotional pressure, and generally that amplifies the energy coming out of it. It's like an amplifier having emotional charges to you. Yeah, we were made for this. this the, the construct that we're in, it all ties in. I don't know if, if what engineered us saw the cycles of the planets and all this other stuff and recognized the energy patterns in them and then created this stuff within us to keep us controlled. I don't, you know, there's, a, there's so many wild and bizarre science fictionalized ideas that may very well be more true to form than most of us realize. And I've said it before, until you get out of the box and begin to peruse the badlands of the strange and unusual, will you really begin to find the nuggets that seem to have the most weight, if that makes sense, and, and fit the best about what's really going on. And if this earth construct really is the meat grinder that I think it is, that I've been telling people it is, and you start looking at how we were designed, how we were engineered, how ultimately manipulatable we are when we're ignorant, that's the caveat to that, when we're ignorant, yet, and most of us are, few of us have the real, real knowledge that it takes to prevent ourselves from being absolutely positively manipulated beyond wildest dreams and played like a marionette by an ethereal source, a, a spirit source, a human that knows more than you and has evil intentions and wants to manipulate you. Wow, you've got to possess an extraordinary amount of knowledge in order for that to happen, not happen to you. And the, one of the foundations of that is understanding how we operate. That's how they've been bending us all over and, you know, doing bad things to our backsides, because they understand how we all operate. Think about that for a second. And we don't. So we're manipulatable like a freaking marionette. It's just so sickening. And when you start stepping away from these things and looking at turning around and looking, it's like all of a sudden it becomes a little bit more obvious than it did. This may not be obvious to the unlearned or somebody who hasn't th thought about it, but as I explain this, this should make sense. So I put forth that we are built and engineered so that we can be extracted from. The video that I have, it's got the, um, the picture of the pyramid on it, and it has the title, I forget it off the top of my head, is about human suffering, analyzing the roots of it or something like that. You look at what I put forth there, you look at what I'm saying now, and then you start looking at what I've said in one of my most recent past videos about the wounding of the child and the destruction of the family and how all-pervasive that is. And when you start really thinking back on history, you know, it may not have been to the grand scheme that we can clearly see it is now, but throughout history, fathers have gone to war and either gotten killed and left a mother without a father, so children were raised, being raised without fathers. That left them open for the influence of something that knew more than them. Uh, it, it, when you start really looking at this, it's just gotten more and more and more intense as time has come to more modern days and technology has crept in. But... To ensure the maximum extraction of the energy of the food source, beast, animal, chimera, freaking things that we are, they made us with these pharmacological factories that induce chemicals, or that cause chemicals to be shot out based on experiences, and then we have this emotional thing, right? Okay, now look at the construct. 
our men are going to wars, coming back, damage, causing family, family damage. Um, there's physical abuse, sexual abuse, psychological abuse, mental abuse, um, um, neglect, and all those things that happen within the family units across cultures, across the planet, that have happened throughout time. You've got perverted parents, whether it's a father that likes to touch girls, Uncle Joe, doesn't matter, touch boys or girls, a sick and twisted perverse mother, the narcissist that raises the child, the sociopath that has an itch, gets it scratched, pops out a kid, and raises the kid. Over and over, generation after generation, narcissism has been creeping up, and we see a world that's littered with narcissists. Well, let me, I, how do I say this? I, I think some of the most obvious external manifestations of the all-out assault on the human species that has been going on both in the 3D and combined with the esoteric, ethereal, that's not the right word, the spiritual principles and principalities of the other world, the, the evil forces, etc., etc., because this world seems to be fucking devoid of God force. Um, it, it just really fucking does, and that ultimate love force, blah, 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 bullshit. The point being, what we see is an external manifestation of the disruption of the family, the disruption of the child's development process, the manipulation of the developing child during that developmental process, the perversion of their minds through the varying levels, three stages of developmental process, what does that produce? Well, at first, when you and think about the influence that television for the last hundred years has had over the minds of kids. It's because it's a perversion of the mind. Because they're going after the mind of the developing child, and when you don't have a family unit that's solid enough to have a foundation to teach the kids, then these perversions creep in. There's nobody there to check that, and it just keeps going and going and going on the fucking rise and levels, and it's just gotten worse and wor more and more over time. I don't know what keeps doing this, but I would suggest to you that there's been efforts on this planet to target families, to disrupt them, to break them up, and then those children of those families get targeted. Their minds get influenced and manipulated, and, you know, as perverse as the gods are, as perverse as humans can be made, um, you know, it, it wouldn't surprise me that 5,000 years ago, during the days of the Egyptians, some sick pe that knew that there was a boy or a girl that didn't have a father to X, Y, or Z, decided to creep in and start that blah, 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 and then, lo and behold, there it starts, and then it continues. Thousands of years later, it spreads like wildfire. We've got these perverse, demonic Jen Epstein and all the people that are sucking off of that fucking tit and going after kids. So... The external manifestations of the perversion of the species, of the disruption of the family, of the perversion of the mind, is this homosexuality thing, is this trans thing, is narcissism. Narcissism is rampant on the planet. It is not a natural state for a human to be in. And when you look at the genesis of that, it's because these kids were abused or neglected so fucking profoundly when they were children that they literally had to turn off the switches in their head that caused them to fucking feel things. Think about that, people. As much as I hate narcissists and have said I want to watch them all burn at the stake by fire, the human aspect of me recognizes these people, as fucking horrible as their behavior is and as much of a wrecking ball as they are to our fucking lives when they strike, these are human beings that experience such horrible shit when they were kids. And those of us that are victims of the narcissist can never empathize when you're sitting writhing in pain about what the narcissist went through as a child to cause this human being to shut off the switches in their mind that cause them to feel the things that other human beings feel, thereby gauging, no, not gauging, tempering their behavior with morality and right and wrong and all that other normal stuff. So, narcissism, absolute external manifestation of child abuse. It is an absolute external manifestation of the breaking up of the child, the perversions of the minds of parents and the ridiculous shit they do to their children, in front of their children, the manipulations parents play back and forth amongst kids with, with, with love, with money, with resources. Something has done this to us because something has understood the human psychology so well, it knew where the chinks were, so to speak, although we're born without any defenses to this, this psychological, mental, emotional aspect of us as humans that makes us so vulnerable when we don't have any defense mechanisms to, uh, inherent for these things. And if we're not taught by parents who have knowledge that bring us up right, how to deal with things, how to handle stuff, how to, you know, center yourself, we, we have no knowledge as a species of how to get back to center. When you look at the condition of the world, it was intended that way. It, it, it's, I mean, we don't have a mechanism like dogs do, where you kick a dog, you beat a dog, you abuse a dog, you do some really horrible shit to a dog, and they finally get the fuck away from you. You'll see them run off to a corner and sit there and shake. I've never done it, but I've seen horrible people do horrible shit to animals, and I've seen dogs, they'll go and shake it out. Give them 20 minutes, and they kind of get back to normal. There's a natural mechanism for the animal kingdom to get back to balance if they've been severely, severely traumatized. With us, we don't have that. And I'm not, that's not one of the major points. It's just a passing point to say that, you know, we were built this way. Every other animal species you can think of really has some, 
or most, most, not most. I think you can see that apes occasionally, if they lose somebody, they'll go into depression and shit. But even them, I think, ultimately get back to center. The point being is, is the all-out assault on the human species for the hundreds of years that it's been going on, the thousands of years that it's been going on, the disruption of the family, the, the, the constant cycle of wars, hell, up to and including what it is we're doing to animals, when you think about it, it it's just like, holy shit. But, back to the point, the external manifestations of child abuse, of the horrible shit we're doing to our kids, that is coming from the perversions of our own minds, that has been coming from the world, and it's just like, look at the freaking, where does it start? Trying to find where it actually started is trying to like, like trying to nail jello to a wall, but we can see all these manifestations, we can see all these symptoms, we can see all the things that seem to be creating this thing, and regardless of whether finding the genesis of it is like nailing jello to a wall, at some point we've got to recognize and see this bigger picture, and if nothing else, destroy the motherfucker so that it can't keep perpetuating something. All of this creates a world in complete chaos. It makes us weak. It makes us vulnerable. It makes us so that we're not thinking clearly. It makes it so that we're afraid of each other. It makes us so that we're divided from each other. It makes us so coming together becomes more of a challenge, and that's just the way they want us. When we're unified, we have power. When we're not, we have nothing. And then they can feed from the energy, the etheric energy forces, the gods, the demons, whatever the fuck it is, the archons, the parasitic forces that... A lot of people that have been studying the esoteric, the occult, spirituality, um, psychonauts that have pierced the veil and seen these fucking things like me, etc., etc., etc. People fucking know that there's something out there feeding off of us. And it's like, wait a minute. All the way down to the goddamn design and engineering in us. And I'm telling you, when you start looking at Saturn and Pluto um, and Mars, I mean, the only real good one up there is freaking Jupiter. Neptune, that's all about illusions and delusions, you know, fooling you, pulling the wool over your eyes or causing you to not see clearly. Saturn, the greater malefic, you know, that's the planet that the Jews worship. That's one of the planets that they, they worship. Uh, Mars is the god of war. Pluto, this underworld planet. You start looking at how all these energies, the archetypes of the energies that correlate to the planets, and then you see when you have a more learned understanding or a more learned or keen eye as to the effects these planets have on us, you start seeing this big goddamn grand cosmic play that I've been saying. This whole fucking Shakespearean ridiculous thing where your part, your script, is literally written in the stars. It is in your fucking birth chart. It is the most repugnant thing for me to see that. That means that we are all puppets on strings. We are all predestined for X, Y, or Z. And... That's real fucked up, because it's such defiance of what we've been told. We're free will beings, and blah, 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 blah. It's like your free will has the ability to allow you to ad-lib across the course of your life a little bit, but you can't deviate too far from the script, because you will be brought back to that path, if you will. And I know that because it's happened to me. So, I've gone off the topic a little bit, but the... The external manifestations of what the hell it is that's been done to humans are narcissism, socio sociopathy. Sociopaths are born. I mean, I'm sorry, they're made. They're not born, they're made. And it's from the same things that narcissists get, probably just a little more. Or they might have been a little bit more psychologically delicate when what was happening to them happened to them. And it just caused them to turn those switches off in their heads and break the fucking things. The soul, the spirit in them as a three-year-old child when daddy was busted a nut on them, just said, I'm out of here, fuck this, turned off all the switches, and just took off, and that sociopath, that child is now a sociopath, because it doesn't have a spirit in it, it doesn't have a soul in it, it's just a meat sack with a little bit of, with awareness in whatever intelligence is there, and there's no spirit, there's no essence to guide it, to give it morality, that is essentially the sociopath. The narcissist, I think, the soul might take, or the spirit might take off for a little while, while daddy, or mommy, or whoever's doing whatever it is they do, the pastor, the preacher, the priest, you know, wherever this stuff comes from, and, and it's all pervasive, so it can come from so many damn places. The narcissist will shut those switches off, and they, the, their spirit might take off for a while, but ultimately come back. And then there's no real knowledge of how to turn those switches back on. That's the journey for the, for the narcissist. So we have a whole fucking planet that's been damaged this way. And then the energy has been extracted from us for ever, for, I mean, it's just a cycle after cycle of extracting the energy. And then you start looking at the world, where all the systems of the world are designed to pervert the child, continue to further wound the child, um... It was just like, what the fuck? But literally, all Christianity, all the fucking Muslims, everybody out there that's into this religious shit, except the ones that maybe not believe in a god, or, you know, just go inward, believe that there's some loving, goddamn, benevolent deity out there that, that believe. It's just like, you've got to be fucking kidding me. And, you know, unfortunately, I went to Catholic boarding school uh, at 10 years old, was like when my mom first started getting, getting rid of me. And um, for all of my adult life, until I woke up about 15 years ago, I pursued this knowledge of religion, and, you know, I got Catholic roots, and, you know, this stuff was in, put into my head as well. 
So I fight with that fucking indoctrination and this belief that I always had that there was some fucking loving goddamn fucking deity out there and I'm coming to realize there really is not. There fucking is not. There is not. There may be the ultimate is. You know, this, this ultimate is that is just above everything. The ultimate is is probably the consciousness that had a thought that created the molecule. You know, I don't think that anything was, I don't think the molecule or the quark, or these types of things that create the fabric of the very existence of everything. I don't think that was created by the Anunnaki, or those types of entities, even the other dimensional entities. I think those, those types of things would have been, had to have been created by the ultimate is. And those are the, the building blocks of the material world in some way, but that's just what I believe. Um, this shit was all designed this way. We were designed for this. It was intentional. The wounding of the child is written into the goddamn fabric of this motherfucking 3D construct, and I defy anybody to prove me wrong. Now, that doesn't mean that the, every child will get wounded, and to, the, to varying degrees for every child and varying levels of severity, obviously. But when you start to really... I mean, think about it. This sex trafficking, this sex ritual shit, this Epstein child sex thing, you know, there's a lot of boys involved in that. They're getting raped. What do you think that's doing to their minds? What, what do you think that does to the mind of a little boy who's got some politician or some royal prince or some Hollywood A-lister's mouth or in his ass while that A-lister governor pedophile asshole is busting it. What do you think that does to that child's mind? Therein comes the sociopathy that we see. Therein comes the narcissism that we see. You know, I'd like to sit here and Theorize about all the things that we could do. We need to fix the family unit. We need to, we need to, we need to, we need to do this and we need to do that and all these things. If we just did this and we just did that. But in reality, there's too few of us that see this. There's too much effort on the negative side of the existence that's built it all for us in the 3D and the spirit world. It has been constructed this way. And I really think that us waking up to it really isn't going to change anything unless the whole of the species wakes the fuck up and we bring the motherfucker to the ground. I mean, bring it to the ground, which essentially throws us all back to the Stone Ages in a lot of ways. Because if we don't bring it all to dust, if we don't bring it all to ashes, the system's here. And in the process, we've got to eliminate those that have been here creating this thing. That's a lot of, that's a lot of, that's a lot of really fucked up negative shit, you know? So what we're faced with, what's going on, I mean, those of us of a good heart, a good nature, and all that other stuff, you look at the demon-filled worlds, I mean, quotes, demonic fucking world, Luciferian world, these evil cocksuckers, you, you, you look at how all prevalent that is, communism is all through fucking the world. It, it, it really fucking is. And it's just waiting to spread here. We have how many generations of Americans that are fucking almost neutralized, brain-dead, fucking, fucking soy boys. So everything that we would need in, as Americans, and this has probably happened in Europe as well, Everything we would need to fight this <laughs> has been soyed up and estrogenized and fluoridated and drugged up with those fucking pharmaceutical, mind-altering, whatever, those um, reuptake inhibitors, those types of things. The gods or some entities like that would have had to have had, would have had, to have had a hand in this. So it just goes to show that there's some serious fucking evil out there that wants to watch humanity squish like a bug. It's just... These motherfuckers are like the sick, sadistic child with a fucking magnifying glass on the ant farm where he goes around and burns the ants who burn off one of their legs and watch them flop around and laugh at it and burn another one and then put them all together and then start burning them all. That sick, sadistic kid with the magnifying glass? That's what these gods are. That's what controls the world. That's what is running this thing and has enveloped the whole of this world. Now... Where in the fuck, and I'm putting this out there to anybody that's got their head out of their ass, is this quote-unquote God force, this good force, the quote-unquote good spirits that are protecting and guiding humanity in all of our fucking blah blah, where the fuck is that? What, is the fact that we live every day to wake up to this fucking meat grinder evidence of the fact that there's something good out there keeping our little fucking chimera-like asses alive? Whoa, yay, hey, we're supposed to be grateful for that. <laughs> what? So, if the evil can fucking do what it does without us asking for it, you know, where the fuck is the good coming in to try and balance shit out? Nothing's going to save us but us, right? And that means we have to get off our ass, take action, and make this world a different place. Because, you know, nothing's going to come and save us. But, 
all of the evil in the fucking world can come after us. All of the evil that envelops the spiritual realms can come after us. Hmm. You see how fucking rigged this goddamn game is? We're made for this shit. We're built for this shit. I mean, the planets fuck with us, and then we've got these energy factories in us, these chakras that tie into the planetary energy. So as they do their dance, we get played down here. The whole goddamn construct down here plays us, manipulates our minds, fucking this whole fucking matrix system that's going on down here. It's just like, you have got to be kidding me. What would have created this for us? What the fuck did we do to deserve this? And if we're such good little fucking, we have such potential, where the, where the fuck is anything out there to help us to either, you know, fucking, I don't know, help us with some of this amazingly fucking awesome evil that's all over the fucking place so that we can get a grip ourselves or, or something. I don't know what it would look like. I'm just like, fuck. This shit's ridiculous. It's evident. It's self-evident. The evil is rampant across this motherfucking planet. Huh. Why doesn't the good run rampant across this planet? Why doesn't the good break out the hammer of fucking Thor? And so, what, what? No, no. Think about what I'm saying. Think about what it is we think we believe about good and all that. And where is it? About God being good and the good in your guides, your guardian angels, the, the, the archangels that are looking after humanity or any of the fucking ridiculous things that people think. Jesus, whatever. Where the fuck is any of that? None of it. None of it's here, but the evil's clearly here. It, it's like, I just, uh, it, this, this satanic fucking force is ass raping the whole of the fucking species and people are just supposed to, you know, like Jesus said, hey, turn the other cheek. Take it. Take it. Take it while the satanic force is going balls deep in your fucking ass, in the ass of your life, your perception, the whole bit of it. Something's got the pen that writes the script for all of us, that ties it in, and they bind us in through these fucking planetary energies, and then they laden us with these fucking chakral fucking bodies, these chakral points within our fucking body that, like, oh, you motherfuckers, I'm telling you people, I, if I could be Thanos, I would destroy them all. I, I, would, I would just... I would destroy this universe in an effort to just fucking give the grandest cosmic kick to the crotch. To whatever it is that created this shit to begin with. And then go after it. Really, whatever created this, something in the universe. You know, the universe is full of lots of galaxies. Something, something in the motherfucking universe needs to find, needs to hunt what created this fucking place. And literally, re just reduce it to molecules. The basic building blocks of life so that the universe can just start over with the very material that these fucking cocksuckers, these pieces of fucking shit, are. I ask people, or I put forth a lot of these, these ideas, these concepts, and nobody's arguing with it. So, you know, do you still read your goddamn Bible, huh? Other than for maybe some historical reference and, you know, a reference book, but not some fucking religious. Same with the Quran, same with the, all of it, all of it, all of it. I hate this fucking world every motherfucking day I wake up in it. And it's like, I don't even pray for death. Because what the fuck would I be praying to? <laughs> uh, I just, just wait for the day that I have the courage to walk out of this motherfucking life. See, I don't have kids. I don't have a family. You know, if I had enough power, if I had enough money, I could be dangerous on this planet, but for the better, for the good. Because I have nothing to lose. No wife, no kids, no family, no ties to this motherfucking construct. The only woman in this world I really thought I fucking loved turned out to be a malignant fucking narcissist, covert fucking narcissist, a beautiful mix of, of Lebanese and Greek and Egyptian, a cobra, a perfect fucking deceiving, betraying, beguiling bitch. And I tell you, where I was in life when that fucking deceiving, betraying bitch got me really had me questioning whether or not I truly wanted to fucking be here. And I have been through 16 months of the worst hell I've known in all of my adult life, literally all of my motherfucking adult life, by somebody that literally played the part as my best friend for three fucking years. Ever since that fucking shit went nuclear and that bitch revealed herself for what she actually is, when the mask came off, I, I, I've just lost all interest in this motherfucking place and all belief that I will ever have a existence on this motherfucking planet that will envelop or embody the love of a woman, happiness, peace, stability, joy, or any of the ridiculous pie in the sky bullshit that, well, people tell themselves. So I just kind of wait for the day the shit hits the fan, figuring I'll probably go then because, well, there's any number of reasons why because, but yeah, that's kind of where I'm at. 
fuck this place. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. Hate it. We're a bunch of powerless little fucking meat sacks with some intelligence. Yeah. Maybe we've got the DNA of the gods in us, but it's not like we see a whole bunch of enlightened or powerful people walking around this planet with that DNA turned on saying, follow me, I'll show you the way to enlighten yourself. Nope, nope, nope. You know, you want to go fucking sit under a tree for seven years or sit in a mountain for, or a cave for 20 fucking years? Yeah, that seems to be the way. I'm telling you people, that's, there's a reason religious texts call us fucking sheep.